Hello guys, CryptoGrounds here. Welcome back to another idle game tutorial video. This is episode 26. Today we're going to be working on the soft cap. So this might requ this might be very easy to implement, but it's going to require quite a bit of trial and, trial and error. And I might not get it perfect on my end, so that's for you to do. Anyways, it's just going to basically divide our our per second and our or just our just our gain our earnings in general and it's gonna be based completely on what we have so far okay and yeah it just basically slows down progress okay okay so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna start with our uh, our main screen and in here we're just gonna add a text so I'm gonna grab one of these from the header so I don't want to replace all the fonts and all that that we already have uh, let's set that to black or something, I don't know. And what we can do is, we can give this a label. Now, just remember, this is not going to go negative. This is not going to make your money go negative or anything. This just, just severely slows down your progress and pre prevents it from going exponential like crazy, okay? We could just say soft cap dot. We could just, do, it could be like a tax or something like that. We could just do like taxes or something like that. Okay. I don't know. You do you. I'm just going to keep it as taxes. Taxes text. Okay. Now we're going to go to our Also, I'm going to fix some things cuz I forgot to do something. Someone commented about me having some text like the cost update every single frame. That's a terrible idea. I agree. It's not a good idea. Like just like I know I just don't think about that when I I just think about it like personally I just forget to explain that how it's not a good practice so stuff like this actually we got all this done uh, I thought I did okay but stuff like the the cost stuff like that that doesn't need to update every single frame right so what we can do is have this update every time we buy something. Now, this smooth number, sure, that can stay. Now, the thing I'm afraid of is this right here, is the, the smooth fill. I feel like that will not work, but we can try. So I'm just going to comment this code out and put it in our Bimax. Just put this here. Or here, we'll just make a new method called public void no it'll be private because we don't need access anywhere else private void update cost ui now the, again i just don't think the smooth progress bar will work if it doesn't then we will put that back in here otherwise the rest should work and this is game.data okay so we'll call this upgrade this update cost ui in the bimax method and in our um our buy upgrade. Why is it still grayed out? We use this method. <laughs> okay, so I think we we solved that. Yeah, basically, if you want to optimize your game, have the text update as least often as possible, like moving the cost related stuff to when you buy upgrades, stuff like that, instead of having it update every single frame. Okay. Also, again, changing your reducing the game frame rate to thirty FPS is all is all is also a really good option as well. Okay, so we're gonna do public text Mars soft cap text. Or we could just do taxes. Okay. And then we're gonna have an equation up here. I'm just gonna do it could do it could be a float, but I'm just gonna do a big double just in case it does go severely massive if we do go into the E three hundred like one hundredth of thousands we know. Never know. But I'm just gonna make it as a big double. And then here we'll do Mars taxes. And we're gonna set that equal. No, it's not an array. And this will be equal to game dot data dot and we want this to start later on rather than so it'll be exponential too, okay? Since, yeah, it's got to grow exponentially, for sure. And this is going to be Mars coins. So we have our, we have this right here. I feel like this should be a log. 
But the thing is that we need to make this log somehow grow exponentially. So if we have... Let me think about this. Okay, so a good way to get equations running is to just plug things in into Desmos. So let's say we have a log equation and we have an exponentially growing equation like this. Now, if we do 10 to the x, of course, it's going to be linear because it's log base 10. If we do log 2, which I'm not going to actually here. If we do log base 2, 10 to the x, you know, it'll be steeper, right? This is the same thing as uh, this is the same thing as 3.33333x. Now I guess that's okay. So let's say we have this. This is obviously going to grow faster. But if we do 2x instead, you know, it's a linear line, right? Because that's that's basically what a log is. So let's say we have our growing equation right here, and we want to do plus one. And we want to not divide by zero, so we want to add another one. So we start at one. Now, if we do, let's say, let's take a really big number. If we divide this really big number by 301, you see it's not going to really do anything. So it needs to be stronger. So what if we do squ uh, square root? So if we do 10 to 300... We have this. So let's say we have this right here, right? So basically, it's just this is just the square root of this, right? See, it's the same thing. So if we go early, you know, everything is always halved. But I feel like that just doesn't work that way. It's still like every, it's just not halved, but the exponent is halved forever. And I feel like that's still not a good tactic. Because this needs to grow faster than the actual equation itself. So what if we have... Now, let's see, this wouldn't work. Okay, so I think we're starting to get somewhere here. So as we get closer, you can see the effect is more severe, right? This is all... This is... Yeah, this is literally almost a square root, right? But if we do 30, you know, the effect is not as powerful. If we do here, you know, there's, I mean, it's the same thing. This is more a half rather than, because if we do, square root of that would be 31, right? Yeah, yeah, that's right. Okay. I thought I was going crazy for a second. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> yeah. See, this effect, so now the effect isn't like as severe, but it grows. And uh, Let's see. Let's try to get this to work. Okay, so, okay, <laughs> it's got a weird pause, though. I think we would have to do, what's zero? Yeah, we need to add the plus one, or else it's undefined. Okay, there you go, that's better. You see how this is still a log, right? But this effect is severely stronger compared to doing squirt x, right? Or actually... Let's see. Let's go further out because eventually this will surpass this. Let's see. Can we find an example? Okay. I think what I'm really trying to say is that having this square root, everything be square root in the beginning is just kind of crappy. It kind of has a bad introduction to the game, I guess. And of course, we can always make this stronger or weak or stronger. You know, this is even stronger. We can adjust this as much as we'd like to, right? This is much stronger, of course. Even stronger than the square root. So this is something that you can play with. And that's nice. To, that's what's nice about having a graph to look at. Is that you can visualize uh, what's the difference between, you know, doing this or doing that. You know, you could look at the graph, obviously. You don't have to understand math to, to realize there's a massive difference between this and that, right? So we're going to stick to this equation. Cool. So, all right. Let me write this down. So we have... Okay. So this is a little complicated. This is going to be 
of public. Yeah, this is gonna be a big double because we're gonna hand we're handling a big double inside here. Okay, so we're gonna do Mars. We're gonna do Mars. We can. We don't even have to put tax that or Mars on it. So taxes exponent factor. Okay, and this will equal to big double dot log. 10. Now we don't need, yeah, just log 10. Log base 10, and this will be game.data.marscoins. Okay. So, oh, I forgot. We're not dividing, right? Okay. Okay. <laughs> then we don't need this. Okay, so let's just continue this. And then we need to do. Oh, we just need to do this. Okay. And then we'll have POW. And this whole thing will be to the power of 0 0.1. And this is the thing that we can adjust, which is what I was showing in the graph earlier. And we don't need this right here. So I know how to actually like do this. It's just displaying it. How are we going to make this possible? I mean, obviously, I could put the exponent in the text like this. I'll show you what it could look like. So in this equation here, or in this, yeah, in this example here, we have 0 0.5653, right? That's the exponent to the actual gains. So we can put, now what we can do is take this original number and divide it by this number, which would be this. And then we would get, we are making uh, this much times less. Or we can display it somehow where taxes are Mars coins. You know, we have this number. That just looks kind of weird. While we can say, you know, this this large number, I guess. So I think we should stick with this route right here. So we have several equations here. I can, I'm going to save this because this is, could be used in the future. Mars, taxes. Cool. Okay. Well, now let's apply it to the the click. So this is going to apply it to the click power. Or, oh, shoot. I forgot. This is different. So I know for, fa I know for a fact that this definitely works here. It's just the click thing that I'm really concerned about. Because I, did, I added it to this equation here which let's say our click multiplier is 11 you know 3.87 is still a lot right I feel like we would have to like really severely decrease that or something maybe I can do clicks click value is this much less or something I don't know because I'm just doing the equation based on getting per second right that works perfectly fine let's just try it roll with it don't know if this will work Uh, mm, okay. So taxes, uh, we'll have to probably display this in a fancy way. Less coins per second, and also minus, let's say, 1.0x less Mars coins per click. You know, we're going to have to figure out a way to display this without looking too complicated, I guess. I don't know. I really think we're already getting too complicated. So we're going to do pow all of this 1 divided by exponent factor. Okay. Now we have a, a per second right here. This is the same thing. So we're just going to do we're going to wrap everything around here. I'm really hoping this works. I, I honestly doubt it will, but it'll be interesting. See if it does. Okay, so now we got to do our Mars text, and this will be the same thing with everything down here. Let's just copy what we already wrote down in the text component in Unity. Mars taxes dot text is going to be equal to our sign, and then we will start formatting. So this will be a backslash n for a new line. 
we will have our equation here and we'll have another new line here backslash n and we'll have our equation here so in here we need to calculate our we have to make such an awful equation what have i done so we're gonna do big double taxes per taxes molt per second just name it whatever you want but this will be um just a better way of displaying. Instead of just throwing it all in the text, we're just gonna have to put our method in here. Okay. So we just return. We just return without the exponent factor our normal equation. Also, don't forget the the Mars coins per second. So let's actually grab this one. Um, yeah, let's do this one. And we will take this... Um, yeah. So, okay. <laughs> okay, so we'll take this equation. We're going to divide it by Mars coins per second. Okay, there we go. And then in here, we will get rid of this. Yeah, that's it. Okay, we are good here. We have our tax mult per second which we will need methods that notation method and throw the method in here okay oh yeah it's two parameters I keep forgetting and up to for two decimals and now for the click it's the same thing except we are going we need we still haven't even made the equation for that so we're gonna do the second one or the per click one and basically it's just click power to the power of this Mars coin per second thing. So we'll take our original click power here and we will divide it by pow click power to the power of one divided by the exponent factor. Okay and now we will start to multiply based on this instead. Okay well uh, let's see if this works. And I should have applied it to this equation instead. That's okay. This works too. <laughs> and we'll put it in here. It's a method we need the parentheses. Okay. Now, I don't know if this will work. This might be really weird at first, but it's worth a shot. Scaling in idle games is sure... Is pretty difficult because your game can either be too slow or too fast it's hard to find it's, right, it's really hard to get right in the ballpark oh so we're decreasing now <laughs> oof okay that's not good yep everything's in a now beautiful well this was unaffected that's for sure no idea why Oh, the click power. I see. The click power is just not affected. That's because of this right here. We forgot to put this in the text. Okay. Now, why did it do that? It's because it was based on what you currently have. And in the, the per second somehow was negative. This is ugly. <laughs> Way really, really, really ugly. Okay. Well, now we know that doesn't work. Okay. What's funny is that we're getting this error now because it's saying this is log 10. It's using the double version of it, even though this is a big double. But that's probably because it's an NAN. <laughs> well, that's a little weird. Yeah, there we go. Not it. A number. Okay. Well, since this is frozen, can we just change it? Well, hmm. Okay. Well, we got rid of the NAN now. Let's get rid of all this NAN rubbish. Okay. So we escaped 
We escaped it in planets, so we're okay. Now we're still screwed here. Okay. So, <laughs> um, that's weird. So the factor right now is zero, which is okay, because that, that means our base is one. So why is this per second NAN, though? It's something wrong with this equation, but it looks just fine. Oh, I see why. It's because we're dividing by zero. Or the, the evil zero. Okay. I see how this is a problem now. Okay. You see here, if we have zero, this is obviously an and, and which is why we got undefined in the first place. Why are we getting undefined now? I am not quite sure. Oh. Huh. That's weird. We're getting more than what we should be getting. <laughs> well. So we're, I think the solution is to make this equation start with one. Yeah, that makes more sense. Okay. Well, let's add a one to this and it should solve all of our problems. I need to do offline progress videos. I keep forgetting to do that. I just need to do it. I need to set this planet aside and just get it done. It's not that hard. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, we started with... See, the issue here now is that we started with zero. I forgot that we need to start with one. Okay. So now you can see this decay should begin to occur later on. So if we have, let's say, E3, you can see it's, you can't see the number. It's very small. But if we get heavier, E300, the multiplication is still pretty slow. Now, the, let's check this out. You can see it's it's not plus zero one anymore. It's very minimal. I feel like this is still too weak. Now this Ah oh, great. Okay, so at least it's not going in and anymore. That's that's a good thing. Oh yeah, it's just very, very small. If you look right here, it's very small. Wow. Let's just put it. But why is it subtracting? I have no idea. I have absolutely no clue. I think the main issue is that we're multiplying. Okay. I think that's the issue. I think instead we need to add more coin per second, right? I think that's just the most appropriate way to do it. Because if we're multiplying something less than it, then it's going to keep going down and down and down. There's nothing negative going on. It's the fact that we're multiplying it instead of adding Mars per second or Mars coins per second. So this should work. So this is very, this is already kicking in. Oh, we got to buy these upgrades. You could see, yeah, this is already kicking in. Wow. So this is not what I was hoping for at all. So even if our level was literally infinity like this, this is just way too strong, I think. Okay. Well, I thought I had it. Based on my calculations. I'm completely wrong. <laughs> Alright. Well, what we can do is adjust the exponent. This is... this. Is, so I say it's easy to implement. Yes, indeed, it is. It is easy to implement. But making it work is pretty hard. Yeah, this is pretty difficult. This is just so severe that I think we need to make this strong, or not stronger, but... There we go. Okay. 
Wait a minute. Does that work? Wait. Oh. Wait, did that actually work? Oh, that actually worked. No way. Okay. <laughs> okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to add a one on the inside right here <laughs> after the log. Okay, we're going to get rid of this. And this should be much better. And we can probably fix this exponent too. Because, like, I mean, this isn't going to do too much, I guess. Okay, save it. Let's test it. Now this should be playable. Okay, this is already a lot better. Yeah, see how it's not as crazy as it was before? You know, this may take a while, but a lot less than what it would before. Also, we're getting a very low FPS because we are printing stuff like crazy. Let's get rid of this. You can see the smooth progress... Oh, the smooth doesn't even work. Yep, okay. I, I knew that was going to happen. So let's just bring the smooth in here. Is this one it? Yep, smooth fill. And put it back in here. Yeah, I had a feeling that wasn't going to work. Oh, shoot. It's, in a, it's, a, it's a for loop. Okay. Just get rid of these. Clean that up. There we go. Okay. So obviously the coins per second is slowing down, but the the Mars coins is still very strong. So we can probably nerf this. Cause yeah, this is clearly gonna. Yeah, this is still too much. Okay, cause we need a place for a prestige, right? Or maybe the the intent is to make this go really fast. So your goal is to get to E three hundred eight, but your coins per second is completely useless. So this is just not balanced at this point. So let's make a separate factor for click, where this one will be a lot stronger. Let's see, how do we do this? Okay. So this was before. So the 0.01 was definitely a lot stronger. But then we got rid of that. So now we need to increase this. Probably not that much. Probably double the exponent. Yeah, let's try that. And we can honestly do it based on the current one. And I think these, the tax text is off. Uh, yeah, this one's not right. This is not right at all. Right? Is that? I think it is. Yeah, it's right. Okay. So hopefully this will work. If it doesn't, again, that's for me to scale. Yeah, this is still very severe. Oh my. Wow. Okay. Well. <laughs> what do you know? We'll make it stronger. Again, you don't need any scaling at all. But soft capping is very difficult. Wow, it's still not working. Oh, I see why. Because we weren't using the click. Oh boy, things will kick in now. Things will kick in. Yeah, I should probably do prestige soon. I'll probably do offline and then prestige. Still not kicking in. What? It this text seems wrong. Yep, it is. So why is this Mars coins per second a lot faster than it was before? So I think this is this click is still a little crazy. Again, the you need to add a prestige when people are like suffering. You know, you can just have an auto clicker and beat this instantly. Yeah, see that's a little better. But I can still buy upgrades and improve this even more. Let's see, let's get an auto clicker. Now watch the growth. 
It, you, obviously, it starts to decay. The upgrades won't beat it. So let's see, our highest right now is 1.15. So if we just keep going, keep going, keep going. It doesn't stop. You're going to get to E308 pretty soon. Probably within minutes. And then, yeah. See, the upgrade still beats the thing. So the kind of goal is to have the upgrade not beat the scaling system. And obviously you can make this an upgrade. So let's try 0 0.75 instead. Now I bet it'll work. We we're this close from getting it to work. So we're at like 1.16. Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> so now obviously, this again, this is mul multiplicative. People are still going to be able to, you know, get through this. And also something with the text. I'm going to get rid of this minus. That doesn't really make sense. So yeah, you can clearly still get through that. Now let's try beginning of the game. So let's go back to zero upgrades. I need to fix that. Why is it doing that? Okay, I see. So in here, to get rid of the NAN, just do this. So if the upgrade level, uh, Mars upgrade levels, that in index 1, which is our production upgrade, is equal to zero, then we're just going to return uh, we're just going to return one. Okay. Now we'll fix that. So let's try this now. Now it seems like we have to click a lot more. Doesn't it seem like we have to click so much more? I think we should reduce the cost of these. Okay, we'll let that autosave while we fix the cost. So I think the base cost for the first upgrade should be two. But then the cost molt should be a little higher. I think it should be like around 2.5. Oh, it's still the float we need to put the F. And that means we can get rid of this right here. Okay. Okay, there we go. See, this UI, ugh, why is it not updating properly? I don't like this. It, there's just like a delay when you buy something. So things start to pick up now, but it's a lot of clicking. That's okay. This is mostly uh, like a clicking thing. Again, you can add more upgrades all you want to. <laughs> this is a very wimpy upgrade. But yeah, anyways, quite a mess indeed. Uh, the cost UI we need to update on start. Okay. Anyways, I know this was a messy one. I thought it was gonna be, I thought it was gonna be a little nicer, but it, apparently it's not. But just know that if you want to soft cap something, just make your earnings per second slow down based on how much you have right now. Obviously, I try to make it a lot more complex than we probably should have, but I didn't want to go crazy with the exponential growth. Anyways, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you leave a like, comment down some suggestions below or anything down there, and subscribe if you're new, turn on the notifications, and check out my videos. And there's some playlists up there at the top. I'm going to click on the eye icon to check out my other playlists. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Peace.